welcome and homely sights on a cold day like today than a great roaring fire like this. We're in the front hall of Gordon Castle, and this is the ancestral home of the Dukes of Gordon. It's been a very private place for the last 600 years, until now that is, because next week the front doors will be open to the public for the very first time. It's been hidden from view for hundreds of years, but now Gordon Castle is welcoming visitors to see inside and out. We've dug around in some of the archives and some For the Gordon Lennox family who live here, the decision to open is about connecting with local people. We would like it very much to be, continue to be part of the local community and part of that process is holding events here. People can come and have wonderful birthday celebrations here. And we'd like people to know that that's what we do now, that the house is open. And what we're going to have a look at now is this really interesting plan of... The original house from the 14th century was close to half a mile long, but most of it's gone, a victim of its age and neglect. There was uh, leaking pipes and the roofs had all come down in the main house and there was dry rot and it really was uh, beyond repair. This model shows its original size, one end being all that remains, but it still has around 30 rooms and this central tower, plus eight miles of bank of the River Spey. Well, after a hard day's fishing, this is the place to come to to relax, either for a game of snooker or perhaps to read one of the books in the library. Well, so far, 300 people have booked to come on one of the guided tours of this castle. The first one is on Thursday of next week. Magnificent. Kevin, thank you very much indeed.